welcome to the new creation show we are back with yet another episode now remember this is a show where young people learn about jesus christ as we share with each other different issues that you and i could be going through today we have a very as usual we have interesting topics but i'm also very interested in this particular topic uh, because there is a trend that i have been noticing i don't know if you are familiar with the term astrology where people get to get guidance and you know future predictions of uh, depending on where the sun or maybe where the star is put so they will have like zodiac signs they'll have horoscopes and every day they get a reading and from there they will know like okay because i belong to this sign so i must do this because i belong to this but remember we are christians so today we have Pastor Mwangala from the God Life Church, and we are going to be going deep in the word on what the word of God says about horoscopes, all zodiac signs. So you might be a Christian and today actually you got a reading. So we're going to be going deep into that and just find out what the word of God says. Pastor, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I'm excited. I'm really looking forward to this chat. Okay, <laughs> interesting. First, first of all, I mean, when I decided to speak to you about this, I was thinking, you know, a young person and a woman in ministry. How has that been for you? Um, how has ministry been? Mm, as a woman and as a young person. Um, you know, like, ministry has, like, it has a lot. Mm -hmm. Like... The, the biggest thing is that it's fulfilling. Mm -hmm. It's very, very fulfilling. So for me, the fulfillment takes me beyond all the circumstances that can surround it. Like the raging storms. You know how sometimes people are like, oh, you're this young and you're a pastor, mm -hmm. you know, and everybody will be looking like, hmm, is it really true? <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, I remember a time when my colleagues, when my colleagues like found out, well, some of them knew, but I was working in a different office. I moved to a different office. And when they found out, they were like, no, it's not true. Mm -hmm. It can't be true mm -hmm. at your age, you mm -hmm. know, because everybody expects the pastor to be maybe like a gray yeah. haired man or like an the table old cuts woman. Exactly. And the shoe. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's what they expect. Mm -hmm. So there's that from people. But um, you know how the scripture says, let no one despise you in your youth. So for me, the scripture has been my strength and just the fulfillment of it really um yeah it supersedes everything is this how you saw your future like did you know that you would be a pastor mangala one day <laughs> no <laughs> it's not how i saw it and it's not it's not what i felt like mm. it's not what i it's not what i wanted it's really what did you, you want? know <laughs> but i i just wanted to serve god mm. like i just really really wanted to serve god but you know as you serve god um you get to see that is God's way. It's not my way. It's not about what what I want, you know. It's not something that I saw myself like, oh, I'll be a pastor one day mm -hmm. and I'll be standing one day, mm -hmm. you know. And so for me, every time I stand, for example, in church as a pastor, it's always something that I take with reverence because it's, it's, it's not something that you could get used to, mm. you know. It's not something that, that I really saw that, hmm, go up on a pastor. <laughs> no, no. But the calling found me. Mm. The calling found me and I'm ever so grateful to God. Oh, I love it you. here. We thank you for the grace. Yeah. Pastor, now back to the topic. Mm -hmm. We are speaking astrology. There's uh, Christians out there and other people not even Christians mm -hmm. who believe in these horoscopes and zodiac signs. Um, I think the other day I just posted a meme on my status. I'm like, mm. ah, someone is a Christian and then they're also giving you horoscope vibes. Yeah. They'll, they'll get these readings and they'll believe and say, no, because I was born in this particular mm. month, I am this. And mm -hmm. so today I don't need to get into this because it might result into mm. this. What does the word of God say about this? You know, in Romans chapter 12 and uh, verse 2, the Bible says, Be not conformed to the standards of the world, but be renewed by the transforming of your mind. And our material for renewing is the word of God. When we look at things like astrology, you've got to find out, like, what is the source? Mm -hmm. Like, what is the source? Where, where do these astrologists get their power? If you look at the, the signs, like the zodiac signs, you even just, when you just look at them, you know, <laughs> it's not something that I've taken time to really look at, but whenever I look at them, mm -hmm. it's just like a strange, yeah. you know, I don't know if it's an animal mm -hmm. or a creature or whatever, but like, like what is the source of these things mm -hmm. really? And so as a Christian, that's what you should look at. Um, I'll, I'll go to the scriptures in Daniel chapter 
chapter 2 um Nebuchadnezzar the king at that time he had a dream and he wanted someone to interpret it right and there were astrologers uh, magicians and all that group of people mm. and they failed he tried all of them and they failed and then he had to look to the power of god and it's only the power of god that could come in for him at that time mm. so i think that as young people we should not be conformed to the standards of the world our standard should be the word of god mm. what does god's word say mm -hmm. Yeah. Amen. Because sometimes people would go into things like palm reading. Exactly. You know, that also, <laughs> if your palm look a certain way, mm -hmm. then they're, they're going to mean a certain way. Yeah. So, and also sometimes they'll say like, now science and the word of God, they work together. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but really, like you said, we have to follow the standards of the world. So exactly. what would you tell Christians who are following the astrology and also the word of God? They're putting it together because they feel like science and the word of God, they work together. Oh, wow. Like, <laughs> so you put gods and you put zodiac signs together. Mm. Um, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's a no for you. <laughs> no, it's a no for me. Because, um, like the very example that I gave, the astrologers failed. In uh, When you look at Daniel, they failed. They tried, but they failed. And so if they failed, that means there's a power that supersedes. Science is not wrong. Um, you can find God in science, but God is supreme to science. Mm -hmm. God is supreme to science. So I'd rather go for God than go for things that I don't know the source. Because these astrology things or those people that read things, you even find like, it's very strange. I was on TikTok one day and I saw there's this woman. She was having a live. Mm. She had like, I think those are very idols. Reading, yeah. Yes, like there were idols. They were just utufin to fin to. And then I'm just like, mm -mm, this cannot be God. Yeah. So you cannot mix the power of God and the power of whoever. Whoever it it's, is. Mm -hmm. You know, it just doesn't work like that. Yeah, because light and darkness can cannot mix. mix. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. So we have to ensure that if you pick light, like just pick a side. <laughs> it's either you're exactly. on the light or you are on the other side, mm -hmm. which is darkness. Yeah. So then what guidance where should young christians get this guidance because you spoke about this a power so where mm -hmm. which direction should they be heading because i feel like people um go to these things because they want to mm -hmm. hear you know we have this thing of wanting to know what's mm -hmm. going to happen in your future um wanting to hear what maybe maybe god has to say about mm -hmm. this but what direction should you really be taking mm -hmm. okay so when we look to the scriptures right you see how that the lord jesus said i will not leave you alone he says, I will come to you and I will give you another comforter. And that is the Holy Spirit. And the Bible says that the Holy Spirit is the spirit of truth. And he will guide you into all truth. Mm. So I'd rather be led in truth by yielding to the Holy Spirit, by listening to the Holy Spirit. When you look at the things of the world, um, my pastor likes to teach us that Satan likes to imitate God. And you can see it even in his systems. He imitates God. So this whole reading and what what is just an imitation but then there is a real thing and i want to say that the holy spirit is the real deal mm -hmm. the holy spirit is the real deal so as a young person or just as a person in general look to the holy spirit because the holy spirit is the spirit of truth he leads us he guides us he'll tell you if you want to know um in corinthians the bible says who can know the mind of god accept the spirit of god mm -hmm. so if you want to know about your future you want to know okay god where where do i go from here consult the holy spirit mm -hmm. yeah um i think anyway there could be people who yes they know the holy spirit mm -hmm. they, know, they know the trinity but they they don't have a relationship mm -hmm. with the holy spirit and they feel like maybe they're also hearing you right now and they're like okay so but then how do i ensure that i'm hearing from this mm -hmm. holy spirit because I remember I had an incident <laughs> in my family and uh, I had a relative saying, no, they wanted to go to see the other side. Uh -huh. <laughs> and they were saying, if you're called, it's a fila cocola, you know, so they want like instant, like you pray and you must be able to mm. hear. So they feel like, okay, if I'm praying, I must start waiting for God to speak. Mm. But if, for example, I go to which doctor, I just go and I tell him, this is the issue and Right there, and then who we'll flip the stones hmm. and <laughs> will tell me, will tell me because it's about I think the instant response. Mm. That's what people are looking for. Yeah. So how 
can you develop that relationship with the Holy Spirit so that you get that mm. instant response? But who said the Holy Spirit does not give an instant mm. response? Mm -hmm. That's that's the question they should be asking. Mm -hmm. You know, the Holy Spirit is a person and as we get to familiarize ourselves with him, we get to know his voice. We get to know his leading. We get to know his direction, right? And as we hear from God, we hear from God on God's terms. Mm. The very fact that someone wants to hear from God, like, God, answer me now, mm. in this moment. You can't command God like that, you know. Uh, when you read through the scriptures, when Jesus spoke to the disciples, he says these things, you cannot bear them now. So God really knows how, how he's telling us. He really knows how he's leading us. Mm. So as a young person, you can hear from God by having a relationship with the Holy Spirit, having a tangible relationship with him, um, studying the word of God, you get to know his voice, um, engaging with other believers, you get to know that, okay, so this is how God moves. This is how God speaks, you know, mm -hmm. spending time in prayer, spending some alone and quiet time. You hear God because God wants to lead you. Mm -hmm. God wants to direct you mm -hmm. and he wants it more than us mm -hmm. actually. So it's just about giving yourself to him and saying, Holy Spirit, lead me mm -hmm. through the ways that I've mentioned, like spending time with other believers, um, going to church, studying the word of God, having some quiet time alone, praying, and most importantly, yieldedness. If you mm -hmm. don't want to listen, you won't listen. <laughs> but if you want to listen, if you want mm -hmm. to hear from him, then you'll hear from yeah, him. Yeah, and the Bible says that my sheep know my voice. Exactly. So you have to make sure that you get to a point where exactly. you know how God speaks mm -hmm. to you. Because for me, if... How I hear the voice of God. Because I had this another interesting conversation with someone from mm -hmm. work. And I think I must have mentioned in a statement, like, God spoke to me. And they were like, what do you mean God spoke mm. to you? God speaks. I'm like, yes, God speaks. Exactly. How? So how does God speak? Because sometimes I feel like maybe you're praying about this and someone will think like God will just come and say, no, my child, that mm -hmm. is not the man you should be with. <laughs> Thinking like that's how God speaks. Mm. So how does God speak to you? How can you know God's voice? Mm -hmm. How does he speak to people? Mm -hmm. You know, God is very personal and he's very mm -hmm. relational with us. The number one way I would say that God speaks to us is through his word. His word is just there. God will never be inconsistent with his word. So God will speak to us like that. And then as you grow, like as you grow into this thing, right? You remember how when we were growing up, when, when na pesaveni, and then you, you want to misbehave, when your mother just does like that mm -hmm. she hasn't spoken a word but you'll know that this is where she's going and it's the same with god um in the scriptures you see how for moses he came in the burning bush right it was mm -hmm. in the fire for elijah the bible shows that he was not in the fire he was not in the wind he was not in the storm but he was in the still small voice so you can't really pinpoint that god is going to speak to me like hey my child <laughs> you know but yeah. as you develop a relationship with him the most important thing is that the voice of God will be consistent to his word. Mm -hmm. So that's the way that you can identify that mm, this is God speaking to yeah. me. Yeah. I think for me, how God speaks to me, and I've had to learn this, he speaks to me through people. Mm -hmm. Like I'm able to hear, even if maybe I'm having a conversation with you, I'll be able to pick and say, that was God. That was God. Especially if I maybe I've been praying about something, mm -hmm. or even just from a child, I'll just meet somebody and I'm like, mm. That was God. Mm. So I think it's important also to get yourself to that level where God can be able to speak to you because if there's no relationship with yeah. the Holy Spirit, then that's how come you feel like maybe, ah, does God really speak? Mm, like he's not he, speaking. Yeah, like he's not speaking, but he's always speaking. It's just that maybe you are not listening. Exactly. So give me a practical way mm -hmm. of how a young person today, they want this relationship with mm. the Holy Spirit. They feel like, okay, yes, I mean, I've been getting all this. Sometimes mm. I feel like it's even on, you know, social media platforms of check how you end this year, yeah. <laughs> you know, and <laughs> check how you end this year. And you check and you're like, oh, mm -hmm. okay. And you start believing in that, thinking like, oh, this is how I'm mm. going to end the year. Because that's how there's so much around us that is controlling what we feel like okay this is how it so yeah. give me a practical way how can a young person develop that relationship with the holy spirit so that they should start hearing from the holy spirit having a a personal devotion life i mm -hmm. would say and going to church church is very very important 
you know when you go to church you have your bible right the pastor or the preacher has their bible as well mm -hmm. they are looking into it you're looking into it and so you're getting to learn like that so i would say that they they should start from church start from going to church start from going to a bible believing church and you will learn the word of god like that from there you shift to having times alone because then now you're getting to know god mm -hmm. like every day you read a devotional every day you get your bible you read a scripture it can mm -hmm. even be one scripture mm -hmm. you take some time to pray you can even start from 10 minutes that way you grow and you'll be developing your relationship with god such that you won't be depending on those uh facebook things mm -hmm. you won't be depending on in our words oh this side there's someone who's reading futures you want to go mm -hmm. because there's somewhere you hear from mm -hmm. so yeah they can start from going to church and then they can also develop a, a personal devotional life by studying the scriptures and praying as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, thank you very much. I think lastly, you can just share with us mm -hmm. why it is important that young people should rely on the Holy Spirit and that they shouldn't be using the astrology or mm. depending on the, on the zodiac signs, on the horoscopes. So why is it important that they should rely on what the Holy Spirit is guiding them? It's important because um, those things will, will lead them into a lie. Those things will lead them into a lie. The Bible shows us that Jesus is the way and the truth, the only way that there is and the only truth, like the Bible says about the Holy Spirit, that he is the spirit of truth. That means other things could be a lie. So I'd rather believe in the truth because they'll make a lot of mistakes at the end of it all. Imagine someone believes that this thing is going to happen and it doesn't happen. What happens? Yeah. They take two or five steps back. They're now drowning in depression. They're now like, oh, why is my life like this? Why when you could have just listened to God and he would have shown you the way. Mm -hmm. So it's very important to allow the Holy Spirit to lead and to guide us because God knows where we should be at what particular time. So you are better off listening to the one who knows you better off listening to the one who created you mm -hmm. and the one who wants the very very best for you yeah and one more thing is some of these things people have to pay for them but mm -hmm. god is free the holy spirit is free people have to pay imagine paying for a lie <laughs> <laughs> for your for your bombs exactly. to be read <laughs> for your bombs to be read mm -hmm. or those who go to no i'm going to go to a witch doctor doctor so and so they are going to pay he's going to say no you have to bring this you have to bring that but god is free he's free so i'd rather go to the free truth mm -hmm. yeah Thank you so much for spending time with us and uh, going deep in the word and just hearing what the word of God says mm. about astrology. I think dear people and dear young people, it is very clear. The Holy Spirit is the way and the only guide. So if you have been getting otherwise, remember what we said, light and darkness cannot mix and will never be able to mix. So you have to pick a side. It's either you're with light or you're with darkness. As for me and Pastor Mangala, I speak for you, we choose the light. Exactly. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching and we'll be able to catch you next time on the New Creation Show. I'm Chikondi.